The Pandora Papers are a stunning leak of financial secrets. And what we see from this mass of data is that taxes are rising for ordinary people. And yet there is a sort of elite who use clever offshore structures, which are not open for everyone to see, to either hide their money or to kind of manage uh, their fortunes. So it's a sort of two-tier system, one for the ordinary who play by the rules and another for the wealthy who sometimes legally, sometimes not legally, essentially cheat. Offshore refers to a secret world made up of tax havens, places where you pay little or no tax all around the world, stretching from Panama to the British Virgin Islands to Singapore, where it's relatively easy to keep your financial affairs hidden from the tax man and from the government of the country where you live. You get in touch with a service provider or a wealth manager, and they basically buy an offshore company um, for you. But the key thing is that this is not in your name. There are sort of fake directors whose names are there, but there's nothing which leads back to you. And once you have this offshore company, you can then open a bank account, not in your name, but in the name of the offshore firm, which no one will necessarily find. You can buy stuff, yachts, private planes, and above all, what we see from the Pandora Papers is property, huge amounts of it in London, in New York, all around the globe, which is formerly owned by offshore companies, but in reality belongs to very rich individuals without anyone ever finding out. Rich and powerful people, kings, public officials, billionaires, put their wealth offshore, sometimes to avoid tax, which is legal by the way, uh, but often to really kind of escape taxation altogether, which is more of a gray area and could shade into tax evasion, which is illegal. Not everybody in the Pandora Papers is a criminal. Some people have got legitimate reasons to kind of hide their, their home addresses and their assets, but there are also plenty of bad reasons as to why you might want to open an offshore account, avoiding tax, for example, or hiding the proceeds of crime or, or straightforward money laundering. What we learned from the Pandora Papers is that practically every country on the planet uh, is involved in the offshore world. So by pumping more information into the system, we allow citizens, voters if you like, to have a kind of fuller portrait of the people who rule them and the kind of countries in which they live. There's now so much information uh, in the 21st century that sooner or later it will leak. And actually, if you're a rich person, much better to sort your affairs out and to declare them than to try and hide your gold under a palm tree because sooner or later, someone else will find it.